It's my great honor and pleasure to welcome you all to the University of Manchester and the splendid surroundings of Whitworth Hall for this graduation ceremony. The graduation weeks are the most important events in our calendar. It is, of course, the time when we celebrate and recognize formally the magnificent achievements and the hard work of our graduates. Importantly, it is also the time when we have the privilege and the pleasure to host the families and friends of our graduates. Especially warm welcome to you all and also to the families and friends who may be watching this ceremony on the live webcast. We are absolutely delighted you're here today and we hope you enjoy our hospitality and have a wonderful day. I want to thank you on behalf of the university for all the help, support and encouragement that you've given our graduates. We know how important this has been in their success, which we are celebrating here today. I also know that our graduates will also wish to acknowledge this here today. So graduates, I invite you to stand up and join me and my colleagues in showing our appreciation of your families and friends. Like all of us, you can be extremely proud of what our graduates have achieved. And as our graduates will tell you, it's always like this in Manchester. Those of you graduating today, when you decided to study at this university, you chose to make a major investment in your future. This university is already one of the finest universities in the world. But our ambition is to lift Manchester up even further into the very highest tiers of education and innovation. At the very core of this vision is a major investment in the best people and the, in new buildings and facilities, coupled with a commitment to higher standards in research and scholarship, as demonstrated by the graduates here to, in the hall today. That this vision is realistic and attainable has been amply demonstrated in many recent major achievements, most notably the award four years ago of Nobel Prize for Physics to two of our scientists for discovery of graphene, Four of our current staff are now Nobel laureates. But we at Manchester also realize that it is important to play a wider role in our communities, both nationally and globally. Our ambition is to make the University of Manchester a force for the good by bringing knowledge to bear on the great issues facing the world in the 21st century and by producing graduates that are prepared to exercise social leadership and environmental responsibility not just fine words, but real purpose and ambition. Let me just give you a few examples. Over 5,000 of our students volunteer annually, primarily to assist our local communities here in Manchester. Over 250 of our staff and alumni are volunteer school governors, using their knowledge and expertise to help the children in those schools. Our school governor initiative has resulted in the fastest growth in number of volunteer school governors in the UK. Our equity and merit scholarships, which are partly funded by our alumni, allow academically able but economically disadvantaged students from some of the world's poorest countries to study at Manchester without any cost to them. This program has helped over 150 students from Uganda, Rwanda and Bangladesh to study Manchester. Our Manchester Work Scheme every year helps about 375 unemployed people from our local communities to gain vital experience and skills, and vast majority of them gain jobs. But this university is more than just buildings and facilities. It is also more than a roll call of fine ambitions and achievements. It is about people. It is our student and our staff, our people who make this place special. Each and every one of you, in your own way, has enriched, shaped, and molded this university to the tremendous benefit of those who will follow in your footsteps. So today is just as much about honoring you for this valuable contribution as it is for success in your academic studies. Obtaining your degree is a hugely important milestone and you should celebrate your success. But you should also realize that this is not the end of your association with this university. You've only just taken a few small steps along the long road that is the special relationship between you and your university. Our doors will always be open to you and your families. This will always be your university. Our career service will offer you help and support for three years. 
You can continue to make good use of our world-class libraries. The Alumni Association will help you remain in touch with the university and importantly, link you with a community of more than a quarter million Manchester graduates living and working across the globe. As alumni, you can help the university and future students in many ways. You are our best ambassadors. You can help future students with placements and employment. You can play a direct role in the development of the university, which is vital to its future. We hope many of you will come back and work here to teach, to innovate, to make this place even better. We also hope that in time, many of you will be sitting on the other side of the hall, uh, glowing with pride like your families are here today. I'd like to finish by saying that my colleagues and I consider it a great honor to be involved in the education of our future generations. Thank you so much, thank you so much for giving us the privilege of playing a significant role in your formative years. On behalf of the university, I congratulate you all all of you who are graduating here today on your excellent academic achievement, and I wish you every success in your future careers. When you leave here today, go with pride, justified pride in what you've achieved. Be a credit to yourselves, to your families and friends, to the communities in which you live and work, to your chosen professions, and to your university. Thank you. The School of Dentistry has a long and illustrious history. We've been awarding degrees since 1885. We're also innovative, developing novel teaching methods and generating research to change practice around the world. We were the first school in the UK to offer the degree in oral health sciences. Many of our graduates and postgraduates have gone on to senior leadership positions with a significant number becoming chief dental officers in the UK and around the world. Most graduates choose to work in general or specialist practice and do so offering the highest standards of care based on the best research evidence. Evidence-based practice permeates everything that we do here at Manchester. The quality of our teaching and research is measured by government and we've always done well. You can go forward that you have received one of the best dental educations in the world. When the government last assessed research, we were ranked first of all the UK dental schools. A new assessment is currently underway and we expect to do well again. Our research extends from basic science understanding of the development of the face and mouth to biomaterials and to clinical trials. We hold £11 million grant funding for the largest ever cleft lip and palate research program. We host the Cochrane Oral Health Group and produce high quality reviews to answer important clinical questions and inform change in practice. We're one of the largest providers of postgraduate dental education in the UK. We offer Master of Science, Master of Philosophy and PhD degrees. Some of these incorporate clinical experience and some of them even full-time uh, specialist clinical training. So you may be back soon and you'd be very welcome. ITV and Keo Films were very happy with the feedback about our recently broadcast documentary, The Dentist. So you might want to come back anyway just to get on the telly if they decide to make a series. Admission to our BSc and BDS programmes is highly competitive and so you did well to enter. We expected you to work hard, take advantage of the learning opportunities made available, and to undergo significant self-development. You have done that, and that's why you're here today. You've also had fun, and you've also made lots of friends. You have had very busy student lives. Uh, some fit in an extraordinary amount. Catherine Mushkin won bronze at the British Ice Skating Championships the week after finals. The school has sponsored a new boat for our rower, Zach Lee Green, and we wish him well in the Olympic selection. University education is a huge privilege and offers a huge opportunity. It changes your life and makes you see the world differently. Congratulations from the School of Dentistry on achieving your success. You will be our ambassadors around the UK and the world, and you have the ability and opportunity to improve the quality of patients' lives.
Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy. Fatima K. Ashibi. Juliana Gomez Buller. <laughs> Safa Abdul Salam A. Jambi. <laughs> Catherine Potter. Thomas Walker. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Dental Public Health, Francesca Jane Barclay. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Science, Clinical Dentistry, Endodontics, Alman Isam. Hanan Isam. <laughs> and in clinical dentistry, orthodontics, Louise Margaret Darby. <laughs> and in dental specialties, dental implantology, Jaspreet Kaur Jandu. and in restorative aesthetic dentistry, Davor Speha. <laughs> Mohammed Shala Alan Abdurala. <laughs> Sadat Man Mankirim Abdul Ghaffur. <laughs> Ranjis Kishore Bulkaili. Laura Claire Cantinlon. <laughs> Afancis Haji R. Guru. <laughs> Chun Hu Chen. <laughs> Hin Ko Arthur Chow. Neil William Dark. <laughs> Bitter Fox. <laughs> Oliver James Harmon. <laughs> Thomas Stephen Harrison. Sharuthi Jitin Rao. <laughs> Dani Kumar. <laughs> Thomas Perez Lorenzo. <laughs> Nicholas John Maxwell. Prasanth Karan Akaran Nair. <laughs> Noor Amina Nazrola. <laughs> Kuriki Dao Chi T. Du. <laughs> Amit Patel. Mansi Shah, <laughs> Sushan Sandar Shetty, <laughs> Ms. 
Andrew John Stafford. Stanimira Kanevia Stareva. Irina Anna Snowinska Rocker. And for the postgraduate diploma dental specialties, oral and maxillofacial surgery, Gwyn for Hugh Pritchard. <laughs> and in restorative aesthetic dentistry, Akji Chocolonso Onyalobi. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Dental Surgery with honours, Aisha Hassan. Rikesh Bhopal. Also awarded the Outstanding Academic Achievement Award. <laughs> Cherry Yu Yu Chang. Charlotte Moforth. Connor O'Gorman, <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Dental Surgery, Irene Ake. <laughs> Romana Ahmed, Rokai Ahmed. <laughs> Aluwatoin Akubesi. <laughs> Mohammed Akhtar. <laughs> Asil Al Ajalan. Sally Al Ali. <laughs> Walid Al Said. <laughs> Nur Hafsa Ame Hamza. <laughs> Amal Amin. Mohammed Mohsin Aslan. <laughs> Amit Preet Kaur Boyal. <laughs> Alexandra Crothers. <laughs> Milan VJ Chande. Richard Crossland. <laughs> Aisha Dipali Danani. <laughs> Natasha Mandeep Dillon. <laughs> Sophie Lauren Doig. Gareth Doody. <laughs> Gemma Fearon. <laughs> Daniel James Flanagan. <laughs> David Ian Fraser. May Zen Go. <laughs> Fion Shan Green. <laughs> J. 
Jasmine Grievel. Adam Haig. Laham Hazel. Mumbin Hamid. Thomas Hampson. Mariam Hashim. Rosemary Sarah Hicks. Jade Mary Humphrey Jones. Kadisha Urshad. Imrana Ishak. Laura Johnson. Anwen Elan Jones. Ab Al Salam Kuzali. Zach Lee Green. Awa Lukmanji. Colleen McGuinness. Daniel Maggs. Issam Mahmood. Jessica Morn. Lorna McIntosh. <laughs> Catherine Ann Moshkin. <laughs> Afsa Magal. <laughs> Leanne Mullan. Hira Nazir. <laughs> Sophie Louise Nichols. <laughs> Faisal Hamza Osman. <laughs> Rachel Elizabeth Owen. Rebecca Parks. Pooja Patel. Reyes Ahmed Ishak Patel. Jennifer Little Perry. Fatima Ali Hassan Rashid. <laughs> Rikil Ruparelia. <laughs> Shafia Sabir. <laughs> Sara Saeed. Manbir Kaur Sandal. <laughs> Mohammed Shah.
Khrushchev Sharma. Haider Sayala. Jason Jaspal Singh. Danielle Natalie Wanru Taylor. Alice Ansu Thomas. Hiral Bimji Fasani. Alicia Vijay. Lauren Webster. Julia Williamson. Liam Wilson. Stacey Worrell. Lisa Yip. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science, Oral Health Science with honors, Iona Carter. Rosie Fletcher. Deborah Louise Hathaway. Madeline Johnson. Kate McKinsey. Megan Warlin. And in oral health science, Natalie Abram. Amber Ahmed. Joanna Claire Byrne. Rebecca Evans. Eleanor Louise Harriet Kerr. <laughs> Eleanor Mitchell. Good afternoon. Today we are delighted to celebrate the achievements of graduates from the School of Psychological Sciences. Some will be celebrating the award of higher degrees, including PhDs. These highly demanding degrees require a very high level of study and tremendous commitment. The majority of our graduates have studied as teachers of the deaf, audiologists and speech and language therapists. Study in these areas takes a great deal of hard work, combining rigorous academic study and demanding professional and clinical training. Their careers, be it in teaching, clinical service, developing research evidence or managing care, will play an important role in improving the quality of life of both children and adults. What links deaf education audiology and speech and language therapy is communication. Communication disorders are a major public health issue and affect many aspects of our quality of life by impacting on our interactions with people, our educational and employment opportunities and on relaxation and re recreational activities as well. 
Students of deaf education and audiology stand on the shoulders of giants here as their science has a long and distinguished history at Manchester. Our expertise in this area began almost 100 years ago with the pioneering work of Sir Alexander and Lady Irene Ewing, whose work has gone on to influence professionals throughout the world on issues pertaining to the identification and management of childhood hearing impairment with immense impact. So important was their work that Irene was an, awarded an OBE and her husband Alexander was knighted. Now we are fortunate in Manchester to have the only professor of deaf education in the UK. We are also known internationally for our work on audiology, the study and assessment of the normal and impaired ear and the treatment and prevention of disorders. We were the first university in the UK to have a postgraduate qualification in audiology and in 2002 when the government called for graduate entry into the profession we were one of the first institutions to respond. The role of the audiologist is set to increase because of our growing and aging population. We are also proud of our prestigious programme in speech and language therapy. Competition for places on the programme is keen and the clinical need is huge. The speech and language therapists have experienced the exciting work of academics and clinicians in their endeavours to understand, develop our understanding of paediatric speech and language difficulties, as well as the factors, processes and mechanisms involved in aphasia, stroke and neurodegenerative disorders. Importantly, the application of this learning across a wide range of areas will enable graduates to make a contribution to improving the lives of children and adults with speech and language difficulties across the lifespan. To you graduates, I say, looking ahead, I hope that you will all remember that your working lives will be spent supporting some of the most vulnerable people in our society. I hope that you will work with a strong sense of purpose and a determination to make a difference. We live in changing times. The NHS changes, services change, and our graduates need to be adaptable and flexible in the face of all of this. To all of you, I would like to say that I hope very much that you will feel the continuing benefit of the very high levels of knowledge and expert teaching that we have been able to offer you here. I hope that your degree from the University of Manchester stands you in good stead for a happy and successful future, and I wish you all good fortune as you move forward to the next stage of your career. I know that your friends and family here, and the staff too, feel great pride in your achievements, and I congratulate you all. Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Deborah Antoniotti de Vashkonselus Ishsa. <laughs> Rebecca Band. <laughs> Timothy Bird. Rory Byrne. Sarah Fox. Anne-Marie Graylish. Ajay Halai. Jennifer Ann McGann. <laughs> and Elena Magia. <laughs> Anna Caroline Pepler. <laughs> and 
and for the degree of Master of Philosophy in Psychology, and Patricia Watkinson. And for the degree of Master of Research Psychology, Anjneet Kaur Kohli. And for the degree of Master of Science, Advanced Audiology Studies, Joanna Louise Harris. <laughs> Kerry Hume. <laughs> Kajal Ramdan. <laughs> and in Deaf Sorry. <laughs> and in clinical science, neurosensory sciences, Penny Ann Bellis. <laughs> Emma Jane Harvey. <laughs> Kieran David Joseph. Emma Patricia Moulds. Uh, and for the postgraduate diploma in deaf education, Christi Christine Marie Ann Dentith. Catherine Jane Oddy. <laughs> Rachel Melanie Rogers. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Science Audiology with Honours, Sara Bano Asif. <laughs> Nasma Begum. <laughs> Lauren Daly. <laughs> Taiba Fatiha, Fatahi Kasili. <laughs> Caroline Gallagher. Fatima Haji Ishmael. <laughs> Kelly Alexandra Henderson. <laughs> Rabia Hussein. <laughs> Fiat Ibrahim. Sumoya Javed. Virginia Joseph. Leanne Martina Kelly. Nasima Katun. Miriam Mosam. <laughs> Francesca Owen. <laughs> Ashish Shah. <laughs> Laura Mary Smith. Nicola Christini, Christina Tattersall. <laughs> and in Hearing and Balance Studies, Grzegorz Ptash Kvejic. <laughs> 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 
And in speech and language therapy with honours, Alana Botright. Georgina Rose Box. Anna Catherine Brady. Belinda Buckley. Sarah Jane Burke. Rosanna Cole. Sarah Cook. Claire Cullen. Keely Maria Cutts. Emma Jane Gaskin. Jennifer Gibson. Kira Hagen. Laura Hammond. Catherine Haywood. Catherine Sarah Judge. <laughs> Alice Knowles. <laughs> Georgina Elizabeth Mackey. <laughs> Susan Ann Massey. Rebecca McCurling. <laughs> Lucianne McFarling. <laughs> Ellen McGowan. <laughs> Kirsty Meehan. Louisa Jane Parker. <laughs> Carrie Prince. <laughs> Caitlin Ramsey. <laughs> Bethany Jane Richards. Sophie Trailer, <laughs> Lydia Wallace, <laughs> Joanne Wordingham Baker, <laughs> and in speech pathology studies with honours, Alexandra Lambert. The affirmation, I would like to invite the graduates in Bachelor of Dental Surgery to stand, please. I'm going to read some statements of the affirmation and then at the end I'll be asking you to reply. I confirm that I will make the care of my patients my first concern. Treat every patient politely and considerately. Respect patients' dignity and privacy. Listen to patients and respect their views. Give patients information in a way they can understand. 
respect the rights of patients to be fully involved in the decisions about their care. Keep my professional knowledge and skills up to date. Recognise the limits of my professional competence. Be honest and trustworthy. Respect and protect confidential information. Make sure my personal beliefs do not prejudice my patient's care. Act quickly to protect patients from risk if I have good reason to believe that I or a colleague may not be fit to practice. Avoid abuse of my position as a dentist. Work with colleagues in the ways that best serve patients' interest. In all these matters, I will never discriminate unfairly against my patients or colleagues. I will always be prepared to justify my actions to them. Could I ask you to reply, I so affirm. You may sit. On behalf of the University of Manchester, congratulations to you all again on your superb achievement. You're now graduates of this wonderful university, so please stand up and put on your graduation hats. Please remain standing because there's one group of people we haven't thanked today and those are the people who've worked with you for the past few years and helped you get there and these are the staff of the university. So will you please join me in showing our appreciation to them. Thank you. We wish you every success and happiness in your future lives and careers. All that remains for me to say is full day and a safe journey home. I declare the ceremony closed. Will you please all rise?